All right, good morning. I was going to show you guys how to clean some of these watercolor palettes. You can see this one, you've got the green starting to come into the yellow. This one's really bad. This one, um, there was wet paint and then it got tipped at some point and you can see the black kind of went into the orange. And this is actually really easy to take care of. All you need is a brush like this that's going to hold a lot of water and you'll go ahead and turn your water on. I like to use hot water. It works really, really well. We're going to bring our palette over here and I'm going to just show you how to get rid of this green right here. You just load the brush up with water and then you twirl it until that paintbrush picks up that green. Now, if you've got some on the side, you might have to go in there a little bit specialty but that yellow is now ready to use brand new and that one is ready to go for the most part and rinse off my brush in between use this red looks like it might need a little bit of attention as well it's got a little bit of black and that happens as the kids um, blend that one's going to be a little bit more difficult so we're just going to come back through and rinse our brush just a little bit and grab some new water and come back and keep doing it and you'll see that that starts to pick up the black and get rid of the um, the color that shouldn't be there the black and bring our red back now if it's really bad you might have to soak up some of it so I just get a paper towel put my finger in there and you can just kind of soak it up a little bit and you can see that color coming back to red and that is how you clean a watercolor palette. Now, sometimes um, these will be empty. It doesn't take a whole lot. Like there's a ton of red still left in here. You can see I've just replaced the orange for the most part. And um, these actually will go a long ways with your watercolor. And when it is time to replace each one, these just pop out and I put a new one in. And so we never really throw away these trays. When they get really gunked up and I replace a, a bunch of these, then I'll take them and I'll rinse them really nicely um, to get them moving again correctly and hinging. But as long as you store them flat, so you close it, I guess I can show you how to open it as well. If you push there and push up, then it'll release that latch. But if you store them like this, so that they're upright then you won't have the problem of those colors kind of bleeding you can see that this is the next one i'm going to be working on and it's got quite a bit going on here